What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Happy Friday, Facebook familia. It's your boy Cedric coming to you live here from Chi Town. I'm actually out in Chicago. Get ready to do a big event here tomorrow. Just finishing up a mastermind and initial training with a phenomenal group out here. And I wanted to share a couple of things that I think that is very, very important for all of my networkers that are out there when it comes down to retention. You know, retention is one of those words that so many of us are really focused on because we want to keep reps and keep customers inside of our organization. And one of the biggest things that so many of us do is that we key in on one word of this four-step process. We key in on one word of this four-step process, and then we don't realize why we're losing so many people. We don't realize why we're losing so many people because we keyed in on this one word inside of the four-step process. So I want to talk about this four-step process. I know it's Friday night. I know it's almost 12 o'clock. I mean, well, what time is it in Chi-Town? In Chi-Town, it's 12 o'clock. On the East Coast, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. On the West Coast, I think it's 10 o'clock, right? So this is a late Facebook Live for a lot of you. So shout out to each and every one of you that are checking us out that might not be out there partying and enjoying their Friday. And, and there's nothing wrong with enjoying your Friday. There's absolutely nothing wrong with enjoying your Friday. On the same token, though, a lot of people want to enjoy their Fridays over and over and over again, but fail to realize that they're spending so much on a Friday when they could be investing in themselves so they can have every day as a Friday. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. What is that four-step process? And what is that one word that keeps people that that keeps people's retention rate so low? Okay? And that one word is tell. That one word is tell. See, there's a four-step process when it comes down to building your business. It's called tell, show, try, do. Tell, show, try, do. You enroll a new person inside of your business. I don't care what you're marketing or what you're selling. And you tell them what to do. And if you are a monster recruiter, a lot of people that recruit 50 people, 80 people, 100 people, 200 people, 500 people, you have to be very conscious of what I'm talking about right now, of just telling people what to do. Because this is where you lose a significant amount of people. Now, let me elaborate on this just a little bit because everybody knows that I like to paint pictures. So I don't care what network marketing company that you might be in right now, what direct sales company that you might be building right now. Ladies and gentlemen, no matter what it is, it is a stick shift car. It's a stick shift car. I don't care what it is. It's a stick shift car. So there's a difference between a stick shift and an automatic. Okay. Now, if you know how to drive a stick shift, I want you to think about when you first got introduced to driving a stick shift, that there was somebody in the car with you. There was somebody that was telling you what to do. And there was somebody that was showing you what to do. And then they allowed you to try it along with them. And then you did it on your own. Hmm. Interesting. They told you what to do. Hey, ease the car in, it in the first. Ease off of the clutch, put in the first, put in the second, put in the third, you get to that stoplight, put it in the neutral, ease off the clutch again. They told you what to do, they showed you what to do. And then they switched seats with you. They switched seats. They came out of the driver's seat and went into the passenger seat and allowed you to try it on your own. And then they shut up and allowed you to do it. So where do we lose the ball at inside of network marketing? Especially as powerful recruiters, if you're recruiting a lot of people. If all you do is just tell people what to do, your retention rate is going to suck. Because you just told them what to do. This is a brand new business for them. They're fresh. They don't know any better. They, all they know is what you told them. So now all you did was told them, look, here's the website. This is what you do. Good luck. Go do it. Doesn't work that way. You tell them what to do. Then you show them what to do. 
You tell them what to do, then you show them what to do. Then you try it alongside of them, whether it's in the car with them, whether it's on a three-way call with them, whether it's on a Zoom with them so you can see their face while they're prospecting, while they're talking to their new people or whatever the case may be so you can coach them along and then allowing them to do it on their own. If all you keep focusing on is just telling people what to do, you're slamming people in, telling them what to do, slamming them in, telling them what to do, slamming them in, telling them what to do, slamming them in, telling them what to do. And then you'll look back and you sponsored 150 people and you're wondering why three of them are alive and 147 of them quit because you didn't take them through the rest of the process. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a stick shift car. It's a stick shift car. Stop treating it like an automatic, please. It's not, it's not. In order to create residual income, if it was automatic, everybody would do it. If it was that simple and easy, everybody would do it. But because it's a stick shift car, you got to get in the car with people. Otherwise, they burn out the clutch and then they blame it on the car, a.k.a. the company, a.k.a. you. It's your fault this didn't work. It's the company's fault this didn't work. No, no. The company did $100 million last year. The company did $400 million last year. The company did $800 million last year. The company did $10 billion last year. It's not the company's fault. You see, you can hit the lottery today and hit it for $20 million. And you can go out and buy a brand new Lamborghini. But just because you can afford the Lamborghini, it does not mean you know how to drive the Lamborghini. So if you happen to wreck the Lamborghini, you cannot blame it on the Lamborghini. Nobody taught you how to drive the Lamborghini. Network marketing business is no different. It just happens to be a simple model whether you've got products or services and because some of us have been doing it for 20 plus years like myself or five years or eight years or 10 years, we think that, oh, we just tell somebody what to do and they're going to figure it out. No, that's just the beginning. You're birthing a brand new baby. You cannot carry a baby in your stomach for nine months and then have the baby and cut the baby off of the oblivical cord or whatever the I know I screwed that word up, but you can't cut the baby off of a cord, stick them in a nursery with 50 other babies and say, good luck, little Johnny. Good luck. I hope it works out. Listen, you're going to have to do this for 18 years. Let me tell you what to do. Let me tell you what to do, little Johnny. Listen, you're going to be around a bunch of crybaby babies in here. They're going to all whine, 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 and they're going to stop whining when they get some milk, Johnny. It's okay. And then you're going to be around more kids. You're going to grow up and grow up. You know, you're, you're going to go into kindergarten and you're going to go into elementary school. And this is what's going to happen in elementary school, Johnny. And this is what's going to happen in middle school, Johnny. And this is what's going to happen in high school, Johnny. And this is going to happen when you date your first girlfriend or you date your first boyfriend. This is what's going to happen when you get married, Johnny. This is what's going to happen through life, Johnny. You're going to go to college. You're going to go get a job. These things are going to happen. Like, do you carry a baby for nine months and then sit down? with the baby that doesn't understand what you are saying and explain 18 to 21 years of life to the baby in two hours and then leave the hospital and say, good luck. Let me know how it works out. You don't do that. So if you wouldn't do it with your children, why are you doing it with your new rep? Hmm. You wouldn't leave your children in the nursery to figure it all out. 18 years of your life. So why are you doing it with your new rep? Hmm. That new rep doesn't have a clue. You introduced that new rep. You brought them to the table. They don't have a clue. Oh, but subject, they, some of these people already have experience. They know what to do. Okay, great. Awesome. Sounds good. Did you just tell them? Cedric, I told them what to do. I trained them. Awesome. Did you show them? Yeah, I told them and I showed them. Great. Most people stop at telling and showing. Did you try it alongside of them? Did you let them do it on their own? And did you do it long enough? 
for them to really get it. You know, when I was, I don't remember how old I was, um, we moved from the west end of Richmond to the south side of Richmond. And there was a very long hill. There's a very long hill to my parents' home. So it's kind of like you go down the street and then all of a sudden the hill goes down. The hill goes down and then it goes all the way down to my parents' house or at the very bottom of the hill, the very last home. Now, I remember when my dad was teaching me how to ride a bike and we had training wheels. We went through the training wheel sessions. And then my dad took me to the top of the hill and he took the training wheels off and he pushed me. And I went down that hill. I'm 43 years old right now and I still have scars on my knee to this day from when my dad pushed me down the hill with no training wheels. Now, why did my dad push me down the hill with no training wheels? Because for a significant amount of time, he told me what to do when it came down to riding a bike. He showed me what to do as he was riding the bike with me side by side. He told me, he showed me. Tell, show. He tried it alongside of me and allowed me to try it on my own. Then he took the training wheels off and say, you do it. We were ready to start to ride that bike. Now I bust my knees up a little bit. But after that day, I had no more training wheels. Because that was the day that my dad took the training wheels away and threw them in the woods. Legitimately threw them in the woods. There are no more training wheels, son. You don't learn how to ride on two wheels. Well, you're just not going to ride the bike. I only repeat that story to each and every one of you so you really truly get the whole process of what you're doing as you're building your business. I like to paint pictures. I can sit here and go through all these extra specifics about this or that or whatever, whatever. But people see pictures, not words. People never see words. Don't ever forget it. People don't see words. You know what a word is? It's a word. Did, did, you, did you see the spelling of that? Did you actually see the physical word? No. People see pictures. So as I paint that picture of tell, show, try, do, there's things that have happened inside of your life as a youngster, as you were growing up, that your parents, your boss, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your kids or whatever, somebody took you through this tell, show, try, do process. And the most successful networkers, the most successful networkers take their people through this process. You could choose to be a unsuccessful networker and just keep telling people what to do. You can do that. Just tell them. Be a dictator. Tell them what to do. Create a website with all your stuff and just point them. Point at it. There it is. Go. You do it yourself. Or you can tell somebody what to do, show them what to do, allow them to try it alongside of you, and then let them do it on their own. The more you repeat that process and the more you duplicate that process, the stronger your retention rate will be inside of your business because now you're creating some duplication because inside of your team, people are going to only do what you do, not what you say. Totally up to you to absorb that. That's all I got for you guys on a Friday night. I wanted to pop in here really quickly as uh, I was sitting at a table with about a dozen plus strong leaders here in the Chicago area. And I'm, I'm hearing this stuff and I'm like, man, there's been a whole lot of telling. There's just been a whole lot of telling. Instead of it being the whole tell, show, try, do process, which is something that so many of us go through over and over and over. And I know that each and every one of you want to build something big. And if you want to build something big, follow that four-step process and watch how things change up inside of your business. So with that being said, I got to go. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for popping on this live, especially late on a Friday night. I truly, truly appreciate you. 
quite a few of y'all that are on here. I got to give a shout out to y'all. Ashley, what's going on? Nicole, Christopher Peraldi, what's up, my brother? Andre, Big Dre, what's up, my brother? Donna's in the house. Keith is in the house. What's up, Big Keith? How you doing, my brother? Carol is in the house. Suzanne is in the house. Big Tommy is in the house. Alonzo is in the house. What's going on? Big Wayne, what's up, my brother? Big Frank is in the house. Devano, the man, the myth, the legend. What's happening? Dre, you already know Southside Wisdom. You already know. You grew up the same place. Mr. Higginbotham, what's going on, my brother? Good to see you. Good to see you. Carolyn's in the house. Mitch is in the house. What's going on? Hey, Daphne, I see you. I appreciate you right back. Big Corey in the house. Super duper shout out to anybody that I missed. Thank you guys for popping on. I appreciate all the smiles, the likes, the shares, the emojis, and all that good stuff. So you guys enjoy your Friday. Have a phenomenal weekend. Don't do anything stupid. And always remember, go out there and make somebody smile today. You know why? Because they deserve it and so do you. Until the next time, deuces.